Today I'm going to be showing you how to make thick, creamy, delicious homemade yogurt using an Instant Pot. It is quick, easy, and you will be amazed at the results. Welcome to the From Scratch Farmhouse. Come learn with us. I'm Stacy from the blog thefromscratchfarmhouse.com where I share our family's journey to ditching the grocery store and becoming more self-sufficient. I was just getting ready to whip up our weekly batch of homemade yogurt so I thought I'd bring you along and I'm going to be sharing with you a few different methods but one of those methods is going to allow you to never have to buy store-bought yogurt again. For this recipe you will need one quart of whole milk and either a quarter cup of yogurt with live and active cultures or a purchased yogurt culture. You can certainly use yogurt from the store to start your yogurt. However, I'm choosing to use this specific yogurt culture that I bought from Cultures for Health because it is a type that can be indefinitely reused. In other words, I can take a small amount from this batch I'm making now to make the next batch and continue that on forever. If you choose to use a different yogurt culture that is not meant to be used in that way or yogurt from the store, your cultures will weaken over time, which also means it will continue to contain fewer of the good bugs that make yogurt so healthy, and you will have to start over with a fresh culture at some point. If you want this exact yogurt culture that I purchased, I will leave the link below. You will also need an Instant Pot with the yogurt option to use this exact method, but I will say that if you are watching this and don't have an Instant Pot, you can do this same process just by using a pot over the stove and then getting creative with some way to keep the yogurt warm. Many people have been successful using a heating pad, a crock pot, or other sources of warmth. Okay, let's get started. Step one, pour the quart of milk into the Instant Pot. Now, if you're wondering if you can do more than one quart at a time, the answer is yes if you are using yogurt, either from the store or from a previous batch for the cultures. If this is the first time you're starting a batch with a packet of dried cultures, however, you will need to start with one quart the first time. Next, put the lid on and hit the yogurt button until it says boil on the screen. You are not using pressure here, so it doesn't matter if the vent is closed or open. At this point, the Instant Pot will automatically bring the milk up to the correct temperature, and then when it is done, it will beep and say yogurt. Now, I do want to warn you that if you just let it do its thing and come back when it beeps, it will stick a bit to the bottom and a film will form on top. If you want to avoid this, you can just occasionally lift the lid and stir the milk while it's heating up. If you are trying to multitask like I was here, you can just take a spoon and skim off that layer on top before you go on to the next step, or go ahead and stir it in and it will be just fine. Next, dump the milk into a glass measuring cup or bowl. You could also just take the stainless pot out of the Instant Pot and set it in a bowl of ice water. Your goal here is just to cool down the milk to 110 degrees. I usually go with the first method because it allows me the ability to multitask without worrying that it will cool down too quickly. But if you're in a hurry, go with method two. I also like to stir occasionally during this time so that it doesn't form a skin on top. When the temperature of the milk reads 110 degrees, go ahead and mix in either one packet of your dried culture or a quarter cup of yogurt per quart of milk. Stir well, then return the mixture back to your Instant Pot. Give it one more stir and then put the lid on. Side note here, work quickly so that your milk doesn't continue to cool down by the time you return it to the pot. You want it to remain at the 110 degrees. If you are adding in cold yogurt, you may want to hit the boil button again, just like we did in the first step, to bring the mixture back to 110 degrees before moving on. Just don't let it get hotter than that or it could kill the cultures. You will then, after your cultures are mixed into the milk and it is 110 degrees, give it a stir, put the lid on, and hit the yogurt button until it says normal. Set the timer for your preferred amount of time. I find that eight hours is about perfect for us. Keep in mind that the longer it incubates, the thicker and more tangy the yogurt will get. We don't like ours very tangy, but we do like it thick, so eight hours is what works for us. It will also matter what cultures are in your yogurt, so you may need to experiment a little the first time. Maybe just set it for six hours and then check on it. Some people like theirs to incubate for 12 hours, so don't worry about it going for too long. Once you have decided that your yogurt is done, you have two options. See how the whey has separated a bit at this point? If you like a thinner yogurt, you can simply stir this in, transfer the yogurt to a jar or other container, and refrigerate until chilled. If, however, you want to thicken it up, you can strain it at this point to remove some of that whey. I am using a fine sieve here, but you could use a flour sack towel over a strainer or a reusable coffee filter, whatever you have that will allow you to separate some of that whey. I just let mine sit like this for a few minutes and then it was perfect. 
Another thing to keep in mind is that it will thicken up a bit as it chills as well. I transferred mine to a jar, covered it, and put it in the fridge. The next morning, it was cold, thick, and creamy, and ready for breakfast. We like to mix in a bit of vanilla and honey to sweeten it. Sometimes I will do maple syrup or jam, but feel free to sweeten to taste and add in whatever your family enjoys. And that's it. Simple, thick, and creamy homemade yogurt with very little hands-on time. And once you do this a few times, you won't even have to think about it. It will be an easy routine to add into the time you are already spending in the kitchen. Thank you so much for making yogurt along with me today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, could you please give me a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming content. I make videos each week on homesteading, homeschooling, food from scratch, and creating a handmade home.